All right, just got a replacement for my old favorite knife, and uh, it's in here. So this is my old knife. I've definitely beat the heck out of it. Um, it's been a good knife. It's nice and thin. I kind of put it on my hip, and uh, it is definitely my favorite way to carry a knife. It's been a good knife for me. But this is the replacement. So it's a uh, pair frame one and uh, same size knife. Definitely nice and light. Uh, the only difference is I end up getting the stainless steel version of this knife. Um, at least that's what it said. Actually it looks like a pretty similar uh, coating. It's like a gray matte finish. But this is the packaging. Interesting, so on Amazon, okay, there we go. S stainless steel handle, interesting. So it did say stainless steel, but my assumption was it was a stainless steel blade. But it's saying stainless steel handle. I've definitely taken this thing in the ocean, and if you can look, if you can look there, there's definitely some surface rust from where I've taken into the ocean. Only thing I don't really like about this knife is I'd rather have a, uh, you know, a fine edge instead of serrated. Um, I've actually slowly started working that edge off, but I use this knife to pry quite a bit, and uh, you know, it definitely has a lot of movement there. I'm just barely moving it. And of course I broke the tip too, so I've definitely beaten this knife up a lot. Um, but still my favorite. It's nice and thin whenever it's closed up and uh, kind of disappears on my hip. So let's open this puppy up and see what we got. Hopefully it's the same knife, just uh, not broken. Hurt, hurt. Maybe I should use the other knife to open up this one. That is seriously stuck together well. Nice. Looks good. Oh, one thing that I, one modification that I did was grind down these two knobs because uh, it would it would dig into my hip um, on the inside. So on this side that was facing against my body, we kind of dig into. Uh, I guess it wasn't right on my hip. It was in between like my hip bone and my rear end, kind of where you where I used to carry my old cell phone. But uh, that kind of goes right there. Uh, it's definitely a lot tighter than my last one. Uh, looks good. Hopefully it will serve to be just as good a knife as the last one. The, uh, the symbol has definitely changed on there. A little more elaborate on the older knife. I'll probably end up grinding this nub down too, just like I did in my last one, just so that it kind of fits nice and smooth right up against my body. Um, there's definitely a lot of play in this, but uh, that would lay flat, kind of right up against me. And then this kind of sticks on the outside of my pants or on my belt. But, uh, wow, yeah, that's a lot tighter. Have to work on that. See how that doesn't even want to stay flat. I'll definitely have to grind that down. But should be a nice replacement for me. Definitely enjoyed this knife. Uh, I think I might try sending it back to Gerber just to see what happens. But looking forward to having this one. One thing I forgot to check was uh, sharpness of it. So let's. Uh, do a little, little shaving of this plastic here. Definitely is a workable edge for me. Usually I'm prying a bunch with my knife and uh, feels good in the hand. Plenty sharp for me. That's definitely a workable edge. Usually I'm opening up, you know, something that I shouldn't be and some kind of metal wedging in there and prying it. But, uh, 
you know, that's the reason why this has got a lot of play in it. Definitely sharp enough. Yep, I think that'll work.